Well, the Blues were back on home ice tonight in front of a sold out crowd, a crowd that had to have more than just tickets to get inside Enterprise. Pepper Baker has more on the requirements and the compliance from fans. Welcome to opening night. Thousands of fans headed to Enterprise Center for the Blues home opener against the Los Angeles Kings. Really excited to be back. It's going to be uh, interesting sitting next to like someone right next to me in the seat. So um, I have season tickets, so I'm used to doing that. So kind of a nice change of pace. This time, everyone aged 12 and older had to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test in order to enter Enterprise Center. Ryan and Teresa Cerneski did the free on-site testing at the Stiefel Theater. It was a quicker process than I thought it was going to be. So I'm vaccinated, so I didn't have to do it, but he had to go through it. I had to go through it. I didn't have a card yet, but they did a great job out there. So it, I applaud them for what they're doing. Hannah Berg says the staff handled the check-in process well. Well, we got here kind of early, so the lines were fairly small whenever we got here. Um, very painless. Uh, we just showed our vaccine card and our ID. They came, We walked right in, did the metal detectors, and that was it. Now the Blues expected a sold-out crowd for the home opener, and even with the new protocols in place, masks are still required inside per the city's mandate. Video inside the arena shows many fans in their seats without masks on. Still, Patrick Farrar says the new requirements make him feel safe inside. I'll be excited sitting next to people that I know are also vaccinated and I don't have to feel afraid and I can watch the game and have fun. In St. Louis, Pepper Baker, five on your side. And the new requirements of vaccine proof or negative tests also apply to people attending events at the Stiefel Theater. As for the mask requirement, well, that's a city ordinance. No comment from the Blues on compliance tonight.